Hi everybody, this is Bogus Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Rocket figure. So before we take a look at Rocket, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first up, he comes with the torso and head of the Cosmo Builder figure. Of course, they pack the biggest piece in with the smallest figure. And finally, he comes with his blaster, and we've seen this used with the very first Rocket figure. It's crazy that they're reusing this. This time it's just cast in all black, and the first time it was cast in like a brownish collar. If you look, this actually has a trigger and a handle, but it's so tiny that it wants to slip out of his hand constantly. I'll probably take it out of his hands for this video just because I know it'll eventually fall out. So that is how tiny the handle is. So yeah, I'm, I don't know if this is accurate to what Rocket uses in the movie, but I wasn't fond of this on the first Rocket figure. I prefer the uh, big blaster that he came with on the Infinity War version. I think that one looks better. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt. So taking a look at this head sculpt, Hasbro did a terrible job on this. I don't like the way it looks at all. If you look, both of mine have two different sized pupils. The left side is huge and it's painted over top of his eyebrow. That's how big it is. And then this right side is really tiny. So yeah, the paint on this one is bad. They didn't even paint that, uh, this color right here, like a grayish color. They didn't even paint that on the underneath of his chin. He should have just a little bit right there. I'm just not fond of the way this looks. I also don't like that you can see his teeth. I would have preferred a closed mouth. I think that would have looked a lot better. I feel like this head sculpt just looks rabid. It doesn't help that uh, his pupils are two different sizes. But yeah, I don't, not only is this inaccurate because of the color missing from there, but I just don't think it looks good. What I've been using on this body is the basic in-game Rocket Raccoon head sculpt because for a basic figure, it actually has the correct paint on it. He has the closed mouth there. I also think the eyes look really good. So yeah, personally, I think this basic head sculpt is way better than this Legends head sculpt. Plus, this uh, basic head sculpt sits up on the neck peg a little bit. I did have to mod it out just slightly, but it sets up a little further and gives him more of a neck too. So yeah, I definitely like this a lot better after modding that head sculpt out. This is a big improvement in my opinion. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the figure. Rocket has all new sculpted parts. He has this really cool guardian suit and I think this looks awesome. When I think of Rocket, I think of his red and blue suit from the comics. So it's cool to see that the MCU is adapting this for Rocket because this looks really awesome. Just like with the other Guardians figures, the blue is showing through there on the red lines and the gold on the insignia missed its mark by just a little bit. But this still looks pretty cool in my opinion. You get some really cool textures there by the elbow joint, some cool sculpted details on the suit and some wrinkles. This just looks very nice. Hasbro also did an incredible job with the articulation. Rocket is a very tiny figure and having this much articulation really surprised me, especially when Howard the Duck was pretty much a statue from the waist down. I really wish Howard the Duck would have gotten this kind of articulation. That would have been awesome. The only part other than the head that's reused on this figure is the tail. This is the tail that was used with the previous Rocket figures, but that doesn't bother me because it looks really good. It has some pretty cool paint to it. I, no, this, this isn't printed on, but that looks really good how the collar kind of fades out into the brown there. That looks really good. I don't think that was intentional, but I do think that looks good. So now, let's go ahead and go over Rocket's articulation. So with the new head sculpt on, he can look up all the way. He can look down just a little bit. He can move his head side to side, and you get a little bit of tilting. He has ball-jointed shoulders that can move all the way out, single-jointed elbows that can bend in that far. He has a hinge on the right wrist that can move up and down, a swivel at this wrist that can move up and down and side to side. He has a ball-jointed diaphragm that can move back just a little bit. He can crunch forward just about all the way. He can move side to side. He has a tail that can move up all the way, down all the way, and spin all the way around. Sometimes the tail will come out, but it's on a peg. You just peg it right back in. He has ball-jointed hips that can do a complete split. He can kick forward all the way. He can kick back all the way. He has a swivel at the thigh, single-jointed knee that can bend back pretty far for being a single joint. A swivel at the ankle that can move down all the way, up all the way, and a nice ankle rocker. So yeah, the articulation pleasantly surprised me on this. Hasbro really went above and beyond on that. So now, let's do some size comparisons. So first up, here Rocket is next to his very first version. And this one, I didn't like the head sculpt on it, so I modded it out. Here he is next to his Volume 2 slash Infinity War version. 
Here he is next to the basic in-game version. I modded this one's head sculpt out since I switched the in-game head sculpt out to this Marvel Legends head sculpt. Here he is next to Gamora. Here he is next to Adam Warlock in Kraglin. Here he is next to Groot. And finally, there he is next to Nebula and Star-Lord. So overall, this rocket figure is pretty awesome. The only drawback for me was that head sculpt. I'm just not fond of that head sculpt, period, but mine had some really bad paint on it, and that made my opinion of it even worse. But aside from that, this is a very awesome figure. Like I said, I was very surprised at the articulation. Hasbro did a really good job on the articulation on this, and even the sculpt detail. He has some really cool sculpt detail on his little suit there. So even though I did have my issues with the head sculpt, I'd still recommend picking this up. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.